no we can enter let's see content one uh, some content here subscribe to us I don't know anything you can put anything you want here you can even add some HTML tags here whatever you like you can use this to to add a subscription form at the bottom of the content that would be something let's say so subscribe to us and then you could paste a form subscribe to our newsletter below and then we can also say don't forget to comment and share okay and change the title to sub so subscribe and comment publish who yeah we have our first custom content here great now that we have done this let's see how can we select this to be shown on let's say I'm not sure on a post or 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 on any post okay let's see we can go and build a simple meta box in here and see how that how to choose post for for that I'll go to the plugin handbook and as I said if you don't know how to build something just look here so we have a custom meta box to find the code for this we can just check on this one and see so we have that pretty simple one and then they'll also show us how to build a function to show something right well that's fine but uh, let's let's create uh, our own so what will we need we'll need a function to register our meta box we'll need a function to actually show us how it will it look like and also another one which we will hook to this uh, not that sorry to the save post hook to save actually our meta box okay let's now go up let's copy that let's go here and we can just go here paste this and let's call it sp sp meta box and we only want that to be on our custom content so we are always using the slug that we have registered here and then well, we can leave it as it is and then use this so this will be a custom content meta box or we can actually use the lockdown then let's add another uh, show show option options maybe we, we, you can add other other stuff here and then we'll also add an html and the html will be sp custom content drop drop down html i do tend to most mostly uh, just uh, use the same uh, let's add dsp here use the same uh, id for our, my function and then just uh, just add the html at the end and then let's define that html and also use that function here instead of this default one okay just add some comments registering meta boxes that's fine we don't turn anything whoops like that and then you can end here and just say let's say 
HTML for our custom content drop down. Again, it's void. Okay. And also, when adding a meta box, our function will receive some parameters that we can use. Of course, we need to know the the content ID, actually the post ID, uh, for which we will save it. So what's what's in our meta box? It's a post, and then we can add this post, and I like to do this post ID. So I can always reference this instead of this. Drop the code and use the same post ID. Okay, so how to build our dropdown? We will create a, a new query on our uh, on our table because we want the post and and also the pages. 